Previously on our channel, we have seen that how you can install the no gravity kernel on your POCO F1 running on Android 13. So now we will check that what all settings are required in the no gravity kernel application so that you can overclock this kernel and boost its performance. So let's get into it. So as a prior step, let me show you that I have installed the no gravity kernel which we have seen in the last video. So where you can see that I am running on the latest build of the rising OS and also you can see that I am running on the no gravity kernel that is the latest one. And also moving further this is the ngk application and also the magisk. Also clicking on magisk you will see in modules I will get this no gravity kernel module which comes out of the box after installation of the kernel. So the ngk installation is linked down in the description and also you will be able to see in the i button. So I recommend you to must saw that video first and then only jump to this one. So now moving to the ngk kernel application you will see that we will have a whole lot of options. Over here the very first option is about the profiles and a whole list of options and many people might get confused that which option to select. But no need to worry as I will show you that what all things can be changed and what all things are important to keep as it is. So at the very first time this is the profile section where you can just select the profile of your choice. In my case this is the gaming plus or gaming which, which are the modes you can keep just to have some good performance in terms of gaming. So moving further this is the another option called as a profile creator. So in terms of profile creator there is no need to do anything as it might mess up your device if you do anything out of knowledge. Moving further is the battery option. So this battery option is something which is again the preset and you don't have to touch it or do any kind of setting as battery is a critical stuff and you don't have to mess around it. So all these options are regarding battery. Now let's move to the main part that is the kernel. In kernel section at the very first stop you will see this optimize apps section. So you just click on it and you just have to let all the application gates optimize. So this option basically optimize all your applications for the power usage and it just optimize all the applications in the background too. So that's something really nice. Over here you will be also able to see the notification regarding optimization and once done you will be able to see that the optimization is done. So that's something really good. Now the next section is about the ZRAM. ZRAM is nothing but once you use any application then the amount of storage you get in terms of zram is little bit more than the usual one so over here you can just select the memory size this memory size which is of four digit is something is preferable and in my case it's already set so i have click on it this is the option which is known as pubg hdr i would recommend not to enable this option because sometimes while playing games your game might get crash or you might face some issues so don't use this option as per my recommendation so this is all about the kernel section moving on next is the smart throttling so you better know guys that what is the meaning of throttling you just have to enable it and now from application you just have to select the no gravity kernel application after enabling that you will get the ngk smart throttling enable throttling basically handles all your heating issues and all the other stuff and that's something really good to have a balanced performance when you are using the custom kernel. This is the show ngk stats overlay which can also be used if you want the overlay displayed so you can just disable it as I don't want it. Moving further is the stats overlay. Stats overlay is something which you will get some kind of stats on their screen when any application or any other games are on progress so you just have to enable it and the frame rate one is the one which might be quite useful as it will just show you the frame rate while playing games so in my case frame rate is something which is quite useful so i have just enabled it and sometimes this takes some time to get it reflected also this is the position where you want to display the frame rate and that's something really cool 
so over here i have enabled it and just again once more i will just disable and enable and doing this after a while you will be able to see that the frame rate is getting display on the extreme top right side so over here you will see that it's enabled and right now it's showing as idle as there is no such activity going on regarding the gameplay or any other stuff so that's something really nice the next is about gestures over here you can just select the gestures you want again i won't touch it as i don't want any type of gestures to be performed next up is about the dts audio drivers so this option is something where you will get some enhanced audio via via your headphones or your speaker if you want dedicated video on this then let me know in the comment section i will create the one so that's all about it and last but not the least this is the latest option that is the ngk flasher so from over here if you are already using an existing version of the no gravity and want to update to the latest one you just have to click on this and you first have to make sure to store your file in the destination given above this button and the kernel will get flash automatically without any kind of issues so that's something good from the community itself so all these options has been enabled and now to get these options work you just have to restart your device as you can see when we again revisit all of these options you will see that all the options are again got disabled so this usually happens with the no gravity kernel application while customizing it so you just have to now go to the power and just restart your device and see if all the settings are getting applied and over here our device has been booted successfully so now let your device get settled for some time and now let's enter into the magis and see if the magis module is activated which is the no gravity kernel module so over here you will see that in the module section the no gravity kernel module has been activated successfully now moving towards the ngk application then you will see all the access is granted so this is the custom profile as i have set via before the restarting and also now let's move to the setting one by one and see if that settings are really applied or not so battery we did nothing in this in smart throttling and also in some options you will see that the settings are still not applied so let me tell you guys this open often happens with the ngk application customization section so this is because sometimes the setting doesn't get applied at first boot in that case you just have to reboot your device once again and let your device get settled for a few minutes and you will be able to see everything getting stable back again so that's how you can set up your poco f1 running on ngk kernel with all of its option and you will have the overclock performance while playing games and also on a daily basis so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming until then see you guys again in the next one until then peace out